This is a short, quick video of the uh, Ray Allen F-Series Heat Alert Pager. And if your screen on your pager has quit working or the backlight has gone out, making it hard to read when you're inside buildings or wherever, uh, that screen is replaceable. It does require soldering. It does require a bit of skill, uh, but it's not it's not hard. Uh, four screws. Take your case apart of your pager. You got your front piece. A couple buttons on the inside. You got your back piece. Ray Allen logo on the back. On the inside, you have your uh, lithium ion polymer battery, which powers the pager and the heart of the device is right here this is the inside of the pager at the back side that is your uh, modem on top and the colored wires there with a the little can that is the uh, vibration motor and down here I'll flip it over down here um, this is your beeper. There's a couple buttons back here used for programming the device and binding it with the transmitter in your vehicle. And the screen I've already unsoldered. There's uh, four solder points on the back of it. I don't know if my camera can get it. i got to get in pretty close. you got one here, one here, and you got... Uh, one here and one there, four of them. And then you have a short ribbon cable on the front side, uh, right here. This comes off. I've already got mine all undone, so I'm just going to pull it right off the PCB. And this is your screen right here. You can see the four points that need to be unsoldered. Just take your time. Uh, a little bit of time, a little bit of heat, this will come off. And uh, down here, you can get something to point with. Down here is where the ribbon cable goes in. This little brown plastic collar comes up on both sides and it releases the uh, ribbon cable. So basically, this is your screen. And this is the part number that you can order a new one. They run about $9. Uh, and where I ordered mine from, well, it's from an LCD online store uh, off the internet. And here's their contact information. AZ Displays, Inc. LCDOnlineStore.com uh, They do send you an email uh, confir confirming your order. I covered up my order numbers to protect my privacy. Anyway, let's dive right into it. I'm going to solder the new one on. Obviously, I can't do it uh, filming, but I will get this done here in about five minutes, and we'll check back. One last thing before I solder it on. This is the old screen. This is the new screen, and it's got a little plastic cover on there. That's not a blemish in the glass. Now, the plastic cover comes off, and it'll look just as good as the new. As you can clearly see, they are both exactly the same. The part numbers are the same. Uh, the smaller number on the bottom, not sure what that is. Maybe it's a build number, who knows, doesn't matter. But everything is the same, and that's what counts. All right, I'm going to solder it on. Stand by. Okay, it's soldered on. Um, you just go real slow. You solder on these posts here, here, and 
here and down here. Uh, one other thought, um, if you drop your remote it will probably break. Um, I've dropped mine before and this vibration motor has come unstuck from the circuit board and I've had to glue it on. Also over here, I don't think the camera's going to pick it up very good, but there's a solder joint right here. There's a solder joint right down in between here, between this and this button. Um, those solder joints broke on mine, and I wouldn't hear any sound from it from when the pager went off or. Um, when I powered it on. Looks like my video was sideways there for a minute. Sorry about that. Uh, just the way it is. I'm trying to do all this one handed. Anyway, um, it's soldered on and it fits down to the case like this. Make sure you connect your battery. And that's pretty much it. The front half goes on. My ribbon wire is attached that goes to the screen, goes to the circuit board, and that pretty much just sums it up. Usually I would power it on to make sure it all works, however the battery and my pager is dead. I'll need to charge it first, and I, that, you know, that's all there is to it. It's, it's pretty easy. If you need help with this, I'm willing to help anybody out. I'm not going to charge you a ton of money, I mean, we will charge for the parts. And the shipping if you wanted me to do it I'm here to help you all out so uh, uh, you can send me a message through this video I'll receive a notification that you're trying to get a hold of me uh, make it a, a personal message not just uh, in the comments below that way you know my privacy and your privacy can be protected all right have a great day have a safe one. K9 EQP clear.